So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another installment of the Bald Chef of Bergamo. We're here on a nice spring day. We're going to make something different, going to change it up. Going to make some Jamaican beef patties. Yes, some street food, snack food, something for watching the game. I know you got an American in talking uh, in Bergamo about Jamaican food, but it brings back memories when I went when I was in college with, with my buddies to Jamaica. No, nothing too uh, too wild and exotic on our our spring break, but it was a great time, relaxing with some good friends, and we we had certainly enjoyed the street food there in Jamaica. So I'm going to show you my little twist on how to make your Jamaican beef patties. Bergamo, bald chef of Bergamo style. Let's check it out. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the stuffing, the beef stuffing for the patties. And we've already started to chop up some of our ingredients. I've got a, a red pepper, about, it's about a half a cup of red pepper. Again, you can use a green bell pepper, it's no big deal. I've got a full onion chopped. I'm going to use half for the patties, the other half for the, the Jamaican uh, 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 jerk dip. I've got two cloves of garlic, quarter cup of breadcrumbs, about a, about a half a tablespoon of cumin. I'm going to use a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of thyme, a teaspoon of allspice, same with the turmeric. Teaspoon of black pepper, uh, two tablespoons of chopped, gar uh, chopped parsley, and I'll get that from the little herb garden. Uh, about a, let's say a teaspoon of garlic powder, we'll get over there the garlic powder, and a teaspoon of black pepper. Um, one thing that, you know, obviously all the Jamaicans want, they want that scotch bonnet pepper, really spicy pepper. Uh, I'm making this for the family, so I can't get too out of control, but I'm going to use my um, Calabrese peperoncini, my spicy uh, red peppers from Calabria that are on the school units are about one, 100,000. So it, it's pretty spicy. Add chili powder, add scotch bonnets, add whatever you want to get it, to kick it up a notch. Um, that's all up to you, but I'm going to keep it simple and go with these ingredients for now. So this is going to be with about a pound of ground beef, maybe a little bit, a pound and a quarter of ground beef. Uh, let me start browning that beef, and then we'll add the, um, the vegetables and get those sautéing. So let's start with the beef. So I've got my pan coming up to temperature. I've already browned the ground beef, about 80% done. That left some grease in the, the pan. I've thrown about a tablespoon of vegetable oil and now I'm going to add the bell pepper. About half of a, a diced onion and some garlic. I'm going to saute this and then when I'm done I'll add the meat back in and then I'll add all the spices that we showed you, the breadcrumbs, um, the turmeric, the cumin, etc., etc., and don't forget the allspice and peppers. So let me saute this down, get uh, the meat added, and then we'll throw you throw the spices in and show you what happens next. So I've browned the meat, sauteed the onions, peppers, and garlic, and now I've added my spices. I got my paprika, my cumin, turmeric, thyme, allspice, and garlic powder black pepper and I've added the crushed red pepper oil as well. And I'm going to mix that in and then to that I'm going to add my breadcrumbs. And you may say why am I adding breadcrumbs? Well once I got this mixed in I'm going to add probably a quarter cup to a third a cup depending on the consistency we'll see of some chicken stock. And the breadcrumbs will help kind of dry up that stock, but the, the stock will impart some flavor and the breadcrumbs will help bind the stuffing. So let me get this mixed in, add the stock, and the stuffing will be ready. And we'll show you how to throw it into the pasta, into the 
dough, I should say, pasta in Italian, dough in English. So I've got all the ingredients in, and you can see the consistency is, is excellent, it's very dense. I added about a third of a cup of the chicken stock, so that, that quarter cup of breadcrumbs was about perfect. Um, I did add a little bit extra allspice, maybe an extra teaspoon of allspice because I wanted this to, to really have a full flavor. So start with the ingredient uh, levels I gave you and then taste. It's always good to taste and determine do you want to add more heat, do you want to add a little bit more flavor. Um, it's completely up to you. So now that I got this uh, the stuffing done, I'll just set it aside and we'll get the, um, the dough out. and. And we're going to use a puff pastry, just something simple off the off the shelf, uh, buy at your grocery store, and we'll make our patties that way. Um, clearly, traditional Jamaican patties. You're going to make those that uh, that dough homemade. Um, well, maybe we'll explore some op options there for showing you how to do that at a later date. But for right now, we'll go simple. We'll go with the puff pastry from uh, from the grocery store, and. Um, We'll get these stuffed and throw them in the oven. The great thing about this is you can set it aside and then stuff it and then throw it in the oven as needed when you want to. So let's go ahead and get at it. So now I'm going to make the dip, the jerk dip for these uh, Jamaican beef patties. I'm going to make, uh, I got a quarter cup of OJ and to that I'll add uh, couple tablespoons of lemon juice, I have a tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of soy sauce, maybe a teaspoon of black pepper and a pinch of the crushed red pepper and again this is the Calabrese Diabolo, Diabolo um, Pepperoncini. You can add a scotch bonnet if you want, depends on what type of heat you want. To that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of nutmeg, a tablespoon of allspice. Got half of that onion left over from that I use for the, the beef patties. And I got an inch, a small little chunk of fresh ginger. And I will dice that up finely. And then we're going to add it all together and emulsify it with a high speed mixer. And I'll show you how that's done. But let's get all these ingredients in there and start mixing up our dip. So I've added all the spices and the um, onion and minced up that ginger root. Threw it in here with that OJ and, and lemon juice and that uh, little bit of soy and olive oil. And now I'm going to take my mixer and mix it up. And um, I decided to add a, a clove of garlic. You need a little clove of garlic in this. You always need garlic, right? So let me get this mixed up and just give it a little taste to make certain I got the right spices in there. Maybe you want to heat it up a little bit, uh, spice it up a little bit. Let's see, uh, let's see what it tastes like after I mix this up. So I've blended it and tasted it and it's fantastic. It's just the per appropriate ratio of that citrusy OJ and lemon juice with the spiciness of the peppers. And you throw that nutmeg allspice in there with the ginger root and it's just classic. The perfect dip for these Jamaican beef patties. And again, if you want to add a little more spice, throw those scotch bonnets in there, throw some chili powder. But to me, this is, this is perfect. It's a good, good blend of the, of the citrusy with the spice. So I'm gonna set this aside, I'm gonna put it in the fridge while we get ready to bake the Jamaican beef patties. All right, so I've got the, uh, the stuffing and I'm ready to put that into these, uh, these little patties. Got the puff pastry uh, dough here. You can see that one is ready to get covered. One's already covered and it's nice and full. Packed full of this stuff in and then you just kind of press down with your finger. And it's okay if it kind of seeps out the side because it's not a liquid. It's not gonna, gonna flow away when you, when you bake it. And we'll throw it in the oven. Follow the recipe for what, you, what you've got for the dough for your puff pastry. This is gonna be about 25 minutes at 200, maybe 375 degrees Fahrenheit to 400 degrees Fahrenheit is how I'll, I'll cook these. Let me get the rest of these stuffed and throw them in the oven. So we got the finished product, Jamaican beef patties with our jerk dip. 
These are wonderful. Even Mickey wants to have one. Bald Chef of Bergamo. Good Eats, Hot Treats.